we are back YouTube and we got like a little challenge going or not like a little challenge but some like like a little test so we're gonna be testing out some new plastic and it's gonna be a company that not a lot of people know about but they are coming up so we're actually gonna be using some Lone Star discs and all these discs I picked up recently and I have not thrown any of them I'm right lying I did throw the warship and yes it is Lone Star disc I've thrown the warship this disc in particular has been thrown like maybe five six times just out doing field work trying to compare it to a destroyer but um yeah I'm gonna go over some of the other discs that we have out here so we got a mad cat which I think is gonna fly kind of like a thunderbird we got a Bo Bowie which I believe is a 13 speed so maybe like a boss type disc we got a dome right on your dome piece and uh, it looks really flippy 86 negative 31 then we're also testing out the MIDI a BB6 La Chupacabra a penny putter which is actually gonna be our putter for today and then also a bull snake which I think is gonna be kind of like a zone zone pig that type of deal but uh i got a few in premium plastic and i got the bull snake and the pity putter in uh baseline plastic which their baseline plastic i'm guessing is v1 plastic they've got this i don't know if it says it on here alpha alpha plastic they got glow which i mean yesterday it was barely exposed to the sun whenever i had it at the house and it was like glowing as soon as I brought it into the house and the sun set a little bit. And they got the Bravo, which is their Lucid or uh, Z-Line plastic. So yeah, we're going to see um, how these discs fly. We're out here actually at LCU. Disc golf course only going to play nine holes, but these nine holes do have a good bit of uh, long and short holes. So I think to start it off, we got this one that's just dead in front of us. And I think we're going to go this bull snake on the forehead so we can get right into and also didn't throw any of these discs at all in any field except for the warship which i said i did have six like six seven throws on it and also haven't warmed up so we we'll have to do a little warm up and we also got a little bit of a headwind so we're gonna see how this bull snake goes up it looks like the numbers based off the numbers it looks like it's gonna be kind of a zone type disc so we're gonna see if that's true we're gonna see if we can handle a little bit of forehand should i put this on a little bit of a flex i don't know maybe we're just gonna release it flat okay man i'm gonna like that disc that is really beefy Release it fly and they we just wanted to go get out of it real quick so yeah we're gonna have a little bit of a tough up shot but at least I know how it flies. Okay, so now we're gonna be using the penny. Trying to get, I think I might get a little bit aggressive on this putt. Want to start off two down, so we're gonna try to get it. A little bitty any. See the, the penny putter does feel good in the hands though. It really does. Uh, I tried forcing it over just a little bit too much, but I mean, that's to be a putt for our three. So I think we're gonna be able to get out of here without losing too many strokes. Oh, I mean, that plastic, I guess, is a little bit grippy. So I head on to it a little bit heavy. So maybe that needs to be something that I think about. But I mean, that's a tap in for our bogey. See right here, I think we're gonna go with the midi. Kind of said that this is like a little bit more of a beefier uh, buzz. So we're gonna see how that actually is. There's no flight numbers on there, so there's nothing, there's no way I can actually know about what it is. So 172, hopefully she doesn't flip on me. We got this hillside, it says 371, but I don't know if that's the correct distance. We're gonna try to hang it off to the right and have it just crash in left. actually released that on hyzer and it actually held that line true and there's also right to left wind so 
did not at, one, at any point want to stand up. So pretty nice flight and also felt good in the hands. Came out real nice. So now we got a little bit of a downhill putt. Here we go with the penny putter. Now I know that it's a little bit grippy on the hands, so I think I'm just gonna let go of my grip a little bit more and see if we can get a nice clean release. It's uh, running, we're running this all day. We're not slowing down the pace. We got one to make up, so we're definitely throwing, we're gonna try to throw this in or put it in with the putt. Oh, but that is parked, so we're gonna go ahead and tap on our three. See y'all on hole three. Hole three, don't know how far it is. The T side says 364 feet. I kind of believe that. We got a little bit of a right to left wind here. And we're gonna be going with the Mad Cat. A little bit of a carry to the left with the right hand backhand. So I think we're gonna go far out right and try to sweep, swing it into the basket. A little beefy. I meant to throw that, I meant to release that flat, but that came out on hyzer. And that thing did not want to stand up, so maybe just a little bit more beefy than the uh, Thunderbird. My Thunderbird's a little bit more beat in, so maybe that's that's the reason why I'm not thinking it's like a Thunderbird. But we can go ahead and see if we can knock down two. All right, so we got a little bit of an upshot, kind of. We just, I think we're, so we got a little bit of a uh, distance to go. We're gonna probably step this one or maybe jump this one into there. But I know I gotta hang this out a little bit less right than what I'm thinking, because my other putters, where I put with is the alpacas. Those kind of want to hyzer out a little bit more. This is more of like a straight, a straight disc. And that came out straight nose up, but I mean, it's right there next to the pin. So came up straight up nose up and it is hyzered backwards. I was thinking about running it with the bull snake, but I want to make long putts, man. That's all it is. I just want to make long putts. All right, so we got hole four. I would say it's maybe like 360, 370 out there to the pen. And uh, what you really want to do is paint something out to the right, or if you got a big forehand, something to the left, just have it crash down into there. The right side play is a little tricky because of the hillside, and if you land on an angle, it'll roll down. But the left side, we're actually going to be going with our warship. And we're gonna try to hang it out to the right and have it just crash left. Oh man, that could have been so much nicer if I'd have actually hit my line. I need to stop just trying to rush into it. I need to adjust my line and actually, ah, uh, so frustrating whenever you're not good, you know? All right, so at this position, it's kind of hard to run it because you got that heel right behind it. So I think we're just gonna toss one up there if it goes in cool if it doesn't i'm totally fine with it but it should not be going too far past the basket and yeah i think that's pretty perk so uh we're gonna go ahead and tap that out but if it is a little far then i'll show you how me missing it all right penny putter it ain't too far Uh, I bet y'all thought I was gonna miss it, huh? I said I was gonna show y'all me missing it, but I fooled y'all. Okay, hole number five, 482 feet. I'm gonna give y'all what y'all want, you know? I'm gonna give you what you want. We got the Bowie. Now, all these other discs, I've been putting them on a little bit of hyzer because I'm kind of afraid of them just flipping over. This one, I'm gonna try to give it a little bit of ante or even flat. I'm really going for flat, but if it comes out on a little ante, I'm not mad at it. But we're gonna try to hang it out right and have the disc crash left. It's a little, it's a little soft par four. So if we're up there for an eagle look, best believe we're gonna be running it. Well, we let's see how much you can handle in the headwind. 174 grams. Oh, I think that's gonna be nice. Might be a little short of the basket, but I think we're actually putting at it. And that's why you always gotta trust the disc on, or the flight numbers of the disc. Because if I, was, if, I, if I was to release that on hyzer, that thing was not gonna be like having that exact distance. It'll probably be a lot shorter than what it actually was. Might have been far left. I might have actually went OB into a little fence area. 
Mark this so y'all can see the damage that the Bowie did. Watch this. That thing just knocked into the ground. So, if you're looking for something with a sharp edge, the Bowie definitely has it. So now I know why they call it the Bowie. Named it right after the knife. So we got a look for our eagle. We go with the penny putter. This is Abraham Lincoln, right? I guess so. And Lone Star, we trust. I'll give this like a little bitty of a, a little bit of a step putt. Oh, probably shouldn't have done that. I ran that a little bit too hard, but I mean, that's gonna be a good look for our three. So maybe we'll just, you know, knock down a birdie, go even. I'm gonna give y'all this angle, making the putt. So y'all can see the cool little bat disc going inside the chain. Easy money. So that brings us to even. And so now we can only go up from here or down. Negative is down. But if you're doing good, you want to be going up. I don't know. Can't really do math like that. All right, one disc we have not tried yet is the Chupacabra. Don't know why I pronounce it like that. I am Mexican. But um, we're going to try to do a little flex line over those trees and have it come back left. If I throw anything faster or more or less stable, I will pass. I will blow past it. So I think this is a little bit, a little beefy for me. So I'm gonna try to do like a little, or actually quite a bit of Anheuser, and have it come right and then just pass left. If I'm in the gap, I'm cool with that. But if I'm past some trees, I think we're gonna be looking at a birdie. We got a little bit of a sand pit right here, so. Hopefully it holds up. Never played disc golf in the sand. Played some sand volleyball back in my day. Hey, so who's gonna tell me that these discs are more stable than I think they are? That is identical. That is basically a Captain Drafter. Nobody give me a heads up, nothing. All right. All right, so we're gonna take our bull snake and we're gonna try to throw it over and have it crash left. Cause I mean, we got nothing in front of us. Oh, I blasted that a little too far. Maybe should have took a little bit off of it, but I also didn't want to hit those trees. All right, a little bit of a distance for, for us at this point, but in the penny we trust, in Abraham we trust. And God we trust. And Lone Star we trust. So yeah, still even through six. So we got seven, eight, nine left. And hopefully we can end up under or down this round at some point. So hole seven or not hole seven, we just played hole seven. No? This is hole seven. Hole seven, I don't know, 299 feet. We're gonna go with the BB6. We're gonna try to throw down a little bit of hydro if it, hopefully it flattens out. I think this one is a little bit flippy. So I think it should flip over. But we got a little bit of a right to left wind. So I, th I don't think it's gonna flip over too much. If it does, then that wind's just gonna hold it down. But I'm praying it doesn't. This rim is like super, super shallow and it feels nice. And that didn't come out on any bit of an or hyzer. That came out straight flat and it posted right. But we are going to be able to get up and down for our three. Maybe make a long jump up for our birdie and we'll continue this streak this streak and i'm tired of with all these hoes playing with my name saying chief keep ain't this chief keep ain't that now i'm just playing but we are going to try to throw this in with our bull snake you gotta give it just a little bit of anheuser you need to aim directly at that pole and it should come in and just hit the chain there's also a hill behind it so that's why i'm actually doing this Or we could hit a tree and we could just 
land maybe 20, 25 feet away from the basket. A little bit of a lengthy putt, but I think we got this with the penny putter. At least we're on even ground, we're not putting downhill or uphill. Easy money, we take that all day. Now I'm not saying anything about this penny putter, about oh it might go in my bag, oh it's really good because I think I found my putters man. The alpaca, there's just something about it. Not to downgrade the penny putter, because right now it is flying good. It does feel good in the hand, but the alpacas, man, I just can't get away from them. All right, I think the last disc that we got to try, I'm pretty sure it's the last disc that we got to try is actually the dome. Put 15 on your dome piece. Maybe put a birdie on your dome piece. But we're going to try to go and lay down a roller. I really want to get over this hill to the right. I want to get over the hill, go to the right, and then just have it kind of cut roll, and maybe stand up late and park it underneath the basket. It's another par four, but I mean, with the dome, you don't know what's going to happen. This is a little mystery. Also, 174 grams. Are you ready for this? I don't think I am. I feel like I'm going to throw it right into the street, or I'm going to throw it into the fence. But that's just between me and you, so keep it down. All right, here we go. I got complete faith in this dome. A lot more flippy than what I was expecting. I'm pretty sure that I got a little bounce and it was already standing completely up. But we're gonna see how that is. Hopefully it's straight down the fairway. Probably should have aimed a little bit more left. But I mean, that got down pretty quick. And I also put that, I mean, that's probably like the first intentional roller that I've actually thrown. So pretty nice. We're gonna see where that ended up. This is actually bull snake territory. I'm not afraid about throwing this one a little hard because I know that this is gonna grip the ground. And what I'm really planning here is just to aim pretty much dead straight at the basket. A little bit of Anheuser and hopefully it fights out. Or not hopefully, I know it's gonna fight out. And hopefully I just don't leave it short. Like I said, it was just gonna hit the ground and stick and that's exactly what it did. With any like premium plastic that's going to hit the hit the hillside and just keep going but that baseline plastic is just going to stick right there so and also I think I think Lone Star might have probably except for like the rubber blend stuff on some of the other companies discs but those are probably the most grippiest putters putters and baseline plastic that I felt whatever what, what have I been saying and Penny and God and Abraham Abraham and Abraham Lincoln and Lone Star, we trust. This is to go one under. Probably got like a 25 foot putt. Let's see if we can sink it in. There we go. One under for the round. I think this might be the first video y'all see where I'm actually, where I actually might shoot under. I'm not gonna do nothing dumb. Let's go to hole nine. The final hole, there's a whole bunch of traffic right there on the right side. Hopefully it slows down for this. But we're gonna go with the last disc that we haven't thrown yet. And that's the penny putter. We got it in 171 gram. I think there's like a little bit of a left to right tail. So we're gonna see how this thing flies, man. I know wherever it's gonna go, it's just gonna sit right there. So hopefully it just, you know, sits right in the basket. stable and it actually bent into the ground and catapulted up but we're gonna have a long jump up for our, our far two to end this thing two over or two under sorry and with that putter if I were to actually release that on some hyzer that would have actually flipped up flat and just uh, coasted so not too bad not too bad Lone Star so this is a big moment for me Big moment for you, big moment for the channel. This is gonna be our first round under par. No matter how bad the outcome, 
There's no way I can mess this up and take a four. Have we shot even on the channel yet? I don't know. But we try to put this in for two down. And from now on, we're gonna have to try to beat that for the for the channel. Two down. So it's two down through nine. Any uh, videos that I do, you know, full 18s, uh, we're gonna have to set a record for that. And we're gonna have to try to beat that every time. But let's see if we can knock this down for two under. Oh, just, just right side chains. So we're gonna go ahead and tap that out and throw it into the outro. All right, final shot of the day, one under. So new uh, channel record for nine hole challenge. Um, I'd like to say shout out to Lone Star for, you know, delivering us this under par shooting. Probably could have been two under if we wouldn't have a bad, if we wouldn't have a bad break on hole one, not a bad break, but just shot selections. I should have trusted these discs more on how overstable they were gonna be and how, you know, straight they were gonna fly. But, you know, lessons learned, lessons learned. If y'all wanna see me do this with any other companies, uh, let me know down below. I've already thrown quite a bit of Innova. I've thrown quite a bit of Discraft. I haven't really thrown uh what is it mvp haven't thrown mint there's a whole bunch of different discs i haven't thrown but innova and discraft maybe if y'all like want to see some less known innova or discraft molds then let me know not bad shooting for a bad day or a good day out here on the course and also some of these discs that i might actually throw in the bag the bull snake was nice i just don't know if that will actually take over for a zone necessarily i just love the way the zone feels in my hand uh the penny putter felt good in the hand just not gonna switch it for the alpaca the bowie and the warship i think i've already got my disc figured out for those slots which are the nuke and the destroyer the mad cat we might have to look into that chupacabra we might have to look into that those felt or those flew really nice for you know comparing them to different slots in my bag uh, the dome, we're gonna have to test it out. I'm still working on some roller discs that I could just throw on a normal angle and they just flip over and uh, hold that angle. The MIDI and also the BB6, I don't know if those are gonna go into the bag, but I mean, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose, won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket.